Testing, testing, testing. Are we back? You know what it is? It's cable. All right, it's the cable. It's the cable, guys. It's the cable. It is the cable. The cable, the cable, the cable. Can you guys hear me now? Can you guys hear me now? Mic check, mic check. Mic, mic, mic check, mic check. Can you guys hear me now? All right, I think you guys can hear me. It's low. It's low. It's low. That's as high as I can get it, guys. All right, we good, we good, we good, we good. All right, let's see, let's see, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. We got, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something's going on here. Let's see. Uh, sh -sh -sh -sh. All right, we're good, we're good. We're good now, let's see. All right, so with that being said, welcome back to the West Coast Graffiti Show. Uh, we have a good one today. I just wanted to talk about, um, I wanted to talk about, uh, of course, the the solar eclipse. But it seems, <laughs> it seems like uh, the main topic at hand is gonna have to be what happened last night at Hoodstocks, right? So let me let me just let me just uh, hold on, hold on. What's going on here? Hold on, something's going on here. Let me uh, uh, moderators, moderators. I got two, mo three moderators right here. I got three moderators right here. Let me see something real quick, all right? I got three moderators, and I need to make sure something's going on right here. Let's get uh, let's get these this fake no blighting out of the way. Let's get this fake no blighting out of the way. Uh, so no uh, moderators, can you get that guy out of the way? We don't want anything to do with uh, 
Rhodium Radio. We don't want anything to do with uh, Marvelous. We don't want anything to do with American Cholo. We don't want anything to do with Run the Fade. So please, moderators, there is this one guy right here. I see him right there. It's Thank you. Thank you for getting rid of that person. We're trying to keep it clean. We're trying to keep it clean. We're trying to move away from all that uh, BS, if you will. So if you see anybody that is uh, a fake no blighting, a fake uh, marvelous, a fake American Cholo, a fake anybody that I don't want to deal with, I will let you know. Thank you guys for removing that person. Appreciate that 1,000%. Okay, so I guess, uh, I guess, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into what happened yesterday then, man. I mean, you know, honestly, the eclipse was a letdown. The eclipse was a letdown. I, I thought it was going to be good, even for the 3% or whatever it is that we were going to see. But unfortunately, we didn't get to see any of that, right? So it is what it is. Let's go ahead and move into the topic at hand. And I will be taking calls today. I'm going to be taking calls. So let's go ahead and do this, all right? Um, I did put some timestamps for... Hold on, somebody give me a call. Oh, it's my son's school. All right, so I did put some time stamps, time stamps so that I can react to those. And you know what? Honestly, like I always say, man, I ask for permission from the guest or the host of... All right, get, remove uh, the hater world as well. Yeah, remove the hater world as well. I, uh, I am done with that, that whole genre right there. Let's go ahead and get rid of that guy personally. Uh, thank you, thank you for being a supporter, but uh, get rid of the hater world as well. So anyways, we're going to go into, thank you, whoever's going to remove him. We're going to go into the hood stocks. <laughs> and, all right, so let's see right here. This is, this is, this is uh, interesting. Hey, moderators, please get rid of uh, the hater world. Thank you, thank you for that. All right, so this is what we have to see right here. Hood stocks just put this an hour ago. We're going to go ahead and read this. It says, just two wild animals having too much fun. You guys wouldn't stop bugging me for this interview. Well, there it is. Facts, facts, facts. Now, nah, Telly, Telly's cool. Telly's cool. Let's leave Telly alone. Telly's all right, man. He, he gets on my nerves sometimes, but it's, it's all right. All right, so let's continue reading this. He says, well, there it is. I wish it would have ended on a high note. Felt like the interview was going great. But come on now. It's Lefty Gunplay and my dumbass. <laughs> so that's what he had to say, right? Let's continue reading. For the record, I was never trying to disrespect the homie. Just like he talked crazy, so do I. Facts. Anyways, I'm going to take a break and do some work on myself. Nobody owes no apologies. Wow. Wow. Okay, Lucky. Okay, Lucky. I love that. I love that about you, Lucky. Don't get me wrong, man. I love that about you. I wish I wish Lucky or Lefty Gunplay would actually call in. Lefty, if you're listening, or Hoodstocks, you know, uh, uh, Lucky, if you're listening, I wish you would call in. You know, and, and uh, somebody, I don't think you guys got my number, but if anybody tells them to call in or knows them, you know, I would I would love for them to call in within the next 30 minutes. I'm going to put the number up. I'm going to repeat that as well. So let's continue reading. All right. So he says, anyways, I'm going to take a break, do some work on myself. Nobody owes anybody an apology. For those that don't know, this is just what homies do. Facts. That is what homies do. Respect to the young king for the record. I caught two fades last night. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, all right, all right. So Lefty seems to have caught two fades last night. But none of them, none of them were with, uh, hold on. Thanks for calling the West Coast Graffiti Show. If you're not Lefty or Lucky, I'm hanging up. What's do, baby? Lucky from Hoodstocks. No, it's not, man. <laughs> Big luck, dog. Is it? Hey, check it out. I apologize, homie, to the homie uh, Lefty, man. I got a little drunk. Little nah, I'm going to hang up. It's not you. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Good try. Good try, homie. Good try. But uh, I, anyways, uh, so here we go. 
Here we go. It says right here, I caught two fates last night. Me and my crazy ass bro. And that, and after that, we hugged it out and chilled the whole night. All right. So there it is, right? So there it is. That, that You know what? Respects to Lucky. Respects to Lucky for, for actually putting that out there because at the end of the day, we all wanted something out of it, right? We wanted to hear somebody say something, right? We didn't want to just stay in the dark because the whole shit went ballistic the last 10 minutes. It went ballistic in the last 10 minutes. It's Marvelous in the chat, guys. It's Marvelous in the chat. Kick him out. Kick out Marvelous if you see him in the chat, man. All right, so, okay, let's read some of these comments. This is 102 comments. I'm not going to read all of them, but we're going to see what's up. You know what? No, no. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go into my my whole thing about uh, hoodstocks, right? And shout out to Lucky, man. Like I said, respectfully, I text him. Not that I know the man, like like personally, but I text him, and I was like, "Hey, uh, Lucky, Buenos Dias. I, ho- I hope the hangover isn't bad. Is there any way you can give me permission to react to you know the, the podcast from last night? You know, if not, it's cool, man. But I just need some audio." And he said, "Go ahead, do your thing. All all love, right?" So. I always ask for permission, man. I know I shouldn't because it is what it is. It's fair game. But you know what? I have respect for everybody that I react to. I have respect for everybody that I react to. And all it is is just a simple yes or no question, man. If they say no, then it is what it is, you know? So that's cool. He let me react to that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the... See this guy? He's calling again. Let me see. Thanks for calling the West Coast Graffiti Show. Countless battles, I walk with no shadows. <laughs> lucky though. I know who you are, homie, but it ain't him. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, with uh, uh, what I said. We're gonna react to, and I actually put timestamps. All right, so we're gonna start at the beginning, guys. We're gonna start at the beginning. If you guys saw this, then you know what it is. I'm just gonna react to like four clips because it started off great, man. It started off great. So here we go. Able to put them together, bro. Are you pumping me up, no, man? Nah, bro. I'm giving you your props, brother. I'm, I'm reading giving the dictionary, I'm, lady. Okay, okay, as you should. You gotta improve your vocabulary all the time. You know what they say the best book in the world is? What is it? The Bible. Yes. I was gonna say that, but I was gonna let you. All right, so right off the bat, he said the Bible is the best book in the world. Yeah, say it. The Bible, man. Yeah. The Bible got some shit in there. God was a killer, too. God was a killer, righteous, bro. Righteous, 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 righteous. God was a killer. Now, if you guys don't understand what that means, that means God punishes people, right? People might think, oh, well, why, why would God punish people? Because he has to let you understand what's right and wrong. He's not going to let you go all willy-nilly destroying humanity or destroying people or messing with people's minds, right? So God is a killer. Some stuff in there. I, I mean, uh, b- uh, blood, blood on the concrete is is the history of this fucking world, bro. And it's the it's the history of evolution. You want to hear something? That, you want to hear something that's random? They say that when you're reading a book, say I'm reading a book, wherever I'm reading the book at, I'm reading it, but I'm not understanding the concept of what I'm reading. But I'm reading the words perfectly fine. But yeah. while I'm reading it, I'm thinking about something else. That means your mind's not there. Like you're just not there yet. You know what I'm saying? You it might be a little read. ADHD or something like that. Yeah, I can't chew bubble gum and walk. So yeah, if that's happening to me in the pen, can, can you can you fucking talk? Yeah, I could talk, but I can't chew bubblegum and walk. Um, you ever you ever read a book while you're fucking a bitch? I was all hell nah. Okay, neither have I. But I read the name on I read the, I read the name on her ass. Her baby daddy's name on her ass. All right, so so don't get me wrong, man. Right off the bat, the whole conversation was all fun, all games, man. I was loving it, man. I was like hell yeah, because I didn't see it in real time. I only got to see like 20, 30 minutes of it. Then I had to go to sleep. But I saw the rest of it when I woke up and I went to work, right? So this is all fun and all games, right? I was like, hell, that this is dope, man. A dope conversation. And we all wanted to hear this and see this. A dope conversation from somebody that is lucky, Lucky Sun Tzu, which, you know, we all know he can, you know, he can get a little aggressive. He can get a little out of hand, which we love that about Lucky. Lucky, if you ever see this, man, we love that about you and your show, man. Hands down, that is why we tune in. We tune into your podcast because we want to see things like this. Unfortunately, 
situations do happen where it gets a lot of hand, out of hand, but it's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault, Lucky. That's just you, right? So anyways, that's just the beginning of it, right? So let's go to another clip. Hard, like Blue Devil, all of them, and, and, and I seen Lucky. You cannot be mad about how these podcasts talk about you. You want to be an entertainer. You want to be in the spotlight. You're gonna get talked about whether it's good or not. You, so it's told me. I'll be watching my shit. They bought me a TV, a plasma screen TV with Wi-Fi, so I always lose my phone, but I never lose the plasma. It's on the wall, so I know where it's always at. <laughs> so I just sit. Well, there. maybe we need to attach the phone to yeah. your body, sir. I really do. I just sit there and I watch the the, the plasma now all day, and it's fast. So I just be like, I look at it and I'll be getting. You know, mad or like, what the fuck's up with this fool? And so let's be like, you're LeBron James. This is ESPN. You're a rapper. They're talking about you. That's their job. This is your job. You know what I'm saying? And it's the truth. It is what it is. You hold on, hold on. Let me answer this question. Somebody said something right here that that intrigued me right here. Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Uh, he said, "Why is everybody kicking everybody off the off the uh, the chat? Where you where you at? Where'd you go, homie? Where'd you go?" He he went up somewhere, or maybe he deleted it or something. But it says something like, why is everybody taking everybody out the chat? Now, the reason why I, I'm going to give you my reason. The reason why I'm taking people out of my chat is because I don't want to deal with those people in my channel. I know those are fake accounts. I understand that. I understand that those are fake accounts. But I still don't want anything to do with them on my channel. Anybody else is good. Anybody else is good. But I'm going to say it again. I don't want Tony A. the Wizard. I don't want Rhodium Radio. I don't want no lighting or Norby's. I don't want Marvelous. I don't want American Cholo. I don't want uh, Blue Devil. None of those on my chat, all right? So that's my reason. If you guys don't like it, then that's on you, homie. But those are the five people and, and Locked Out TV and Shadow from MODNT. So those are the six or seven people that I don't want on my chat because respectfully, respectfully, I, you know, <clears throat> I'm done with that. I'm done with that. So if you guys don't like it, then it is what it is. Respectfully, I hope you understand what I'm saying, man. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and keep going. It's your job. This is your job. You know what I'm saying? And it's the truth. It is what it is. And you got to accept that. And I would be mad if they weren't talking about me. You know what I'm saying? Keep talking about me. It's cool. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's free publicity. For the right, no, but I don't do it for that, though. Sometimes I act up and I, and I, I admit, like, a couple times in the past, few days I, I, I went a little <laughs> overboard but you know what I'm saying I could have handled it better and I don't I, after I do an interview I don't watch my interviews I do not cause I'm like damn I'm a fool that's how I be acting that's ow you know what I'm saying but it's just I can't you can't like I said the homies right here you can't beat that out of me the homies right here you can't you can't whip it. I've been like that forever bro you all right, and that's that is why we like that is why we like Lefty Gunplay because he is okay. He he, I'm, I'm gonna say it sounds weird, but I I'm gonna say it like this: he is Lucky's yin to your yang, right? He is his night to the day. Those two right there, we wanted to see this because their dynamic, the way they carry themselves, man, it is off the hook, right? So. For him to say that, that he doesn't watch his interviews, I guarantee you why he doesn't watch his interviews. He doesn't watch his interviews because in the beginning, he was watching his, inter his interviews. He was like, hell yeah, man, that's me. That's what's up. But then after a while, they started talking to him and telling him, hey, man, you know, you, you, you're, you're talking a little bit too much. You're getting a little bit out of hand. You're drinking a little bit too much. You know, but I've never seen him really, and I'm talking about Lefty. I've never seen Lefty really get out of hand. I've seen him get up on podcasts. I've seen him walk around. I've seen him do things like that, but I've never really seen him get out of hand. So all respects to Lucky. I mean, to Lefty. Dude, well, you know what? You know, what's the trip with you, dog? Is it just seemed like, like you hit the scene. And you were that dude. Like, like, bro. What was the process? What was the transition? Like, when did it happen? When did you start rapping, bro? Man, I when started rapping a couple months ago. But I've always wrote poems in jail. But <laughs> I did. I started fuck? rapping like two, three months ago. And that's when I did my first song, like two, three months ago. But, um, I, I, I. All right. So that that's that little part right there. Again, I'm just putting little clips so that we could get to the end, right? So now that was the second part. Let's go ahead and get into the third part. Or find you at a show, so you gotta stay tapped in with the hood and stay on good terms. Good terms is good. It's a small world in the essay world. 
Southside. It is, and and, and, they'll, and they, the, the homies are the hardest on each yeah, other. Yeah, the homies, are, they'll get that ass. They're looking for any reason, so you got to run a, a steady program. A steady program, baby. I love that, brother. I it's on my it. homies now, so if I fuck up, it's on my homies. They're going to yell at my homies to get on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we don't need all that. Yeah, actually. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Yeah, criminal, Mr. Criminal is banned, too. Hold on, let's rewind that real quick. Don't get that ass. They're looking for any reason, so you got to run a, a steady program. A steady program, baby. I love that, brother. I it's on my homies now, so if I fuck up, it's on my homies. They're going to yell at my homies to get on me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And we don't need all that. Yeah. All right, so you understand what's going on right there, right? This is about 40 minutes into the podcast, right? I think, I'm not sure if they already ate the gummies or the... Or the mushrooms or not, but let's keep going. Trying to get fucked up by the homies. <laughs> that's, hey, that's a humble dude right there. You know what I mean, that's a hundred. Uh, that's a humble dude with about a fucking a hundred thousand dollars worth of fucking gold on him. What's that? Let me see that watch, bro. Is that called a bust down, bro? Man, is, is that what they call a bust down, bro? All right, this nah, is a bust down. And all that yeah, that's that OTR, baby. Yeah. Ooh, this shit. Damn, this shit is. Tell me what this one says right here. Watch. That's OTR too. You know, one thing I got to appreciate about about Lefty is that he's really humble. He's really humble. He's right now he's handing his chains to Lucky so that he can see all that jewelry that he has on. That is the most humbling thing you can do, man. Right. So let's go on to the next part. And this is uh, 53 minutes in. And like how you are or the morals that you have. People take your kindness for weakness and take advantage. And it's like, well, fool. Try to play you like that, like there's some scumbags out here, dog. There's some scumbags. There's a lot of them, bro. You know what? I want to ask you this, bro, because it sounds like it sounds like you're a believer and you gave a big shout out to God right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you are you, are you Christian? Are you Catholic? What I'm are you? Catholic. That's the way my family was raised, but I barely started believing in God. What is, do you pray? I recently, now what I do is if I get money, believe now, God. I want to sit in my house yesterday and I'm looking at my my big ass spot. I own that shit. I'm like. I looked in the sky, I'm like, thank you, God. You own a loft. Yeah, yeah, a loft in a balcony in a two-bedroom apartment in a, yeah, I own a washer and a dryer. <laughs> Shit, I own a stove. <laughs> I got a motherfucking All right, so see right there, man, I could tell right there when he said he, he owes a washer, a dryer, a balcony, a loft. I'm going to tell you one thing, guys, and, and, and he probably feels the same way, right? Now, he, he, he came from a trailer park. I, li I live in a trailer park. I, I live right now currently in a trailer park. He came from a trailer park, right? So for him to actually move out of a trailer park and own a loft in downtown L.A., have his own washer and dryer, a big screen TV, everything that he said, a microwave, all that stuff, man, that really means a lot to him. You understand what I'm saying? That really means a lot to him. Why? Because... He got it for his work, for what he does. And what he what does he do? He entertains people with his raps, right? That's the same thing like me. Look, I love my trailer. I love my mobile home. Why? Because I worked a, me and my wife worked hard to get this. Now it might not be your your uh, average house, you know, with a garden, with a backyard, with a two-car garage. It might not be that. Yeah, I'm going to get it, Kimosabi. I just got to get to the end. It might not be that, but what I, what I can tell you is that I love what I own. My wife and I work hard to get this. So I understand what he's saying. I understand what he's saying. Hey, Look, hey, I, got life, I got life insurance. You got life insurance. I got a license. You already got a, a license. driver's license. Yeah, in the cut, we, 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 yeah, yeah. Where there's a way, there's a way, that's it. Fucked up, bro. I woke up yeah. fucked up from yesterday, dog. And I said, this is one of the biggest. All right, right here. Right here is, right here, guys, is where, where I, I think it got kind of interesting. And then it goes kind of down here after this. All right, so let's get it to this. In that drum, motherfucker. You're going to get shot. You probably got booby traps. <laughs> I, but, but so today I woke up, dog, and I was fucked up, bro. I woke up yeah. fucked up from yesterday, dog. And I said, this is one of the biggest days of hood stocks, right? We got lefty gunplay right here. And then I'm not trying that's to right. I'm not trying to butter you up and that's be all I that shit, too. That's dog. how I felt, too. But, but that's how I felt today, dog. And I was just like, damn, dog, I got to get right, dog. I got to get right. I got. I can't let, I can't let the goonies down. I can't let my boys that come in here and they support me and they love me, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, And I love them, too, dog. And I, I, I can't fuck 
fuck this interview up, dog. I gotta be in my game mode. And so I went and I did burpees, dog. I woke up, I did burpees. Yeah, I sat in the sauna, dog. I sat in the sauna, dog. And I tried to sweat the fucking drogas out, doggy. You know what I mean? And I said, dog, like, what am I doing with my life, dog? No, dog. Like, what am I doing with my life, dog? No, dog, because I, I just didn't, I didn't. Shout out to you, man. You know, and, and you know I what I did? Never done that you know what years. I did? I it's did. Long. What I did today, bro, before having you here, dog, my, my daughter, Liana, nobody wanted, I said, hey, I want to pray. I want to pray. I told my kids what? I want to pray. Yeah. And, and, and you get some of them drogas. <laughs> Hey, hey, I got P. Diddy's number right now for you, bro. <laughs> hey, I got a new team to give me the cut. Hey, hey, no, no, but P. Game, P. Game, bro. That's good, man. That's good. And and, and you know, and and nah, real shit, guys. All right, hey, I, I can't control the ads, guys. I don't know. YouTube is doing this new program. YouTube is doing this new program where where it just it just puts ads out of nowhere, man. Uh, before it would put the ads after the show, but from now, uh, I think it started a few months ago where it's doing it uh, automatically. Well, anyways, so right here, Lucky is explaining how important this podcast is to him and the Goonies, which I'm a Goonie, right? I don't know if you guys are Goonies, but I respect Lucky and I respect Hoodstocks and I am part of the Goonies. Fernando asked me if I'm not uh, okay with, with Marvelous. Yeah, I'm okay with Marvelous, but I just don't want them on my on my chats. You know, I I think it was him. I don't know who it was. I'm okay with all of them. I'm okay with Gil. I'm okay with Tony. I'm okay with Norbert. I'm okay with uh, Daniel, which is Marvelous. I'm okay with uh, with uh, Clown Loke. I'm okay. I'm okay with uh, MC Shadow. I'm okay with all of them. I just don't want them on my chat. I just don't want them on my chat. So you know, that's let me let me just correct that. I'm okay with all of them. If I see them, like I said before, if I see them. If I run into them, I'm going to run up and say, what's up, homie? How you doing? You know, how you been? This, that, and the other. But I'm not okay with them on my chat or my channel. That's it. You know, I don't have nothing to say about them. I don't, I don't, what they, what they're doing is they're doing what they're doing, man. That's it, man. I, I don't really care about, you know, any of that stuff. But anyways, let's move on to this. Let's move on to this. So this is where Lucky said, you know, this was the most important, this was the most important podcast. Right? And nah, real shit, guys. Real shit, let me, nah, let me talk. Let me nah, talk. real shit. Yeah, let me real, talk, real, guys. Real. Let me talk, fool. Like, honestly, dog, I prayed today, bro. And I said, God, like, I don't want to fuck the homies interview up. He's a good guy, man. And I, and I see him. I don't know him personally, but I'm going to know him after today. And, and I want to give him a good interview, and I don't want to let my people down. I don't want to let my girl down, especially because she yeah, I come home. I was hearing and, like a book, man. You're good. You're good. You're good right now. I was just imagining you doing it all. Like, yeah, I could see your morning and shit. And that's how I felt, too. Like, it was a big one. Yeah, you you, you mature. You're, you're my, you, you got a good heart, like my heart. My heart is good. My heart, you, you, my heart is so good, bro, yeah. that sometimes it's ugly. Because when you got a good heart, you talk to people real. Yeah. And, and then sometimes people think my... It talks to them real, right? He talks to them real, and it did get real. You might have an ugly heart because you talk to them straight. You know, you ever get that, bro? No, no. Will you ever do you talk to somebody straight? Like, all right, let's move on to the next one. The next one is at one forty-four. At, at this point, at this point, uh, I think they're taking phone calls, and they already took off all their shirts. Everybody took off their shirts, man. We got 3,000 people right now. 3,000? Hey, hey, you know what? I ain't going to talk shit, though, but I'm just going to say we had King Little G right here, and he didn't get 3,000. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, Lucky. No, you didn't. Lucky. No, you didn't. Lucky. <laughs> and you know what? Honestly, that King Little G podcast was fire as well but but the thing is he dropped the ball on that one as well and he explained himself the following day or two days later right the reason why he dropped the ball with with uh, king little g is because and again <clears throat> these are these are lucky's words he said that lucky i mean that uh king little g wanted something different than every other podcast he said, I want to do like a Joe Rogan style podcast where you just ask me questions out of nowhere, like random questions. But unfortunately, when King Little G showed up, it was a whole different ball game. Now, 
Lucky does his homework with everybody, just like any other podcaster, right? Lucky actually has notes on his phone. And if you notice in the beginning of the podcast, he actually said, you know what? Screw the, po- screw the notes. Let's just do this freehand, right? And then same thing with uh, King Little G. The King Little G podcast, he had everything written down. He had every all the questions. Everything was already, you know, ready to go. Unfortunately, King Little G wanted something different, and it just went a whole different way. It went left. It went left on both podcasts, right? So let's continue. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I ain't gonna talk shit, though, but I'm just gonna say we had King Little G right here and he didn't get 3,000. Yeah. Spencer? Mm-hmm. Spencer? No nah, shots fired nah, at King Little nah, G because nah, nah, he, nah, he, he, nah, nah, he, he helped us out tremendously. Nah, he just saying the record straight that I got the record right now. Hey, Yo, what up, dog? Who got the record for hey, the most views? I do? Droopy. Charles. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's get this call. What's this call? What, what happened, though? Why do you say New Mexico is whack, Lefty? Hey, you know what? No, no, we left, we left, we left, we left, we left, we left. All right, all right, all right. I don't want to get into that. That's their problem. But I'm, I'm just here to react to a couple of things, all right? So we got two more, and then we're going to get into the end, right? So let's see. I think let's try this one. It's hey, 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 hey. Media today? Nah, dog. I just want to know who I'm gonna fuck today, dog. It, it was it was actually WrestleMania yesterday. He's right, man. That means Lefty Gunplay is a WWE fan. Shout out to Lefty Gunplay for that. I want to know who I'm gonna fuck today, homie. Who's gonna get this dick? Who's gonna get this dick? Who's gonna get this dick? I bet you know what's the fuck doing that. If the bitch says she fuck, she crazy. <laughs> Something down. You know what I want to say? Offering this. my sister. <laughs> I want to say this, guys. I want to say this. It is a gang of homies. You gotta no, make no, it like a no, kickback. Man. Nah, this is a kick. All right, and if you guys didn't see like who's in there, okay. So, so I don't know how big. I don't know how big his podcast is, but I've been there. I dropped off some stuff. Um, his room is pretty big. I don't know how big, but he had at least eight to ten people inside that room. Eight to ten people, man. Now, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of what they call testosterone. You know what I mean? And if people were drinking, you can imagine. Bro, I want to say this, though. Yeah. I want to say this. Yeah. Get, get in your shit. Get in your shit. Yeah. Talk, talk your shit. I want to say this, dog. It's for the homies, yeah. The glory in this, dog. Oh, look at my shit real quick. Spence out. Can I? Oh, keep, keep going. Go it's a pretty moment. Hey, look, watch out. You want everybody to know. Look at this shit. I'm going to log on to my Instagram. We're going to go down honey, here. Honey, honey. Look at the top. Honey, 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 honey. All across the board. Ah, there we go, there we go. What does that mean, bro? I don't know. I, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. It means, it means, it means just, just like, it means like the way you feel right now, that's how I feel. God damn, I'm like, I don't even like to look at it. So what helps me out is not to look at it. Oh, look, OGZ, my boy. Shout out OGZ, man. He Mexican. All right, all right, let's move on to one more. And this is uh, two minutes. The homies, the, hey, hey, left. The, yeah, the homies in Pelican Bay watch yeah, this and they support yeah, us, bro. Yeah. Free my homie Sinner, man. We free got big Sinner. You know what, dog? Right you know, you know, it's a, yeah, such a blessing, Sinner, bro. Free I want to say, I want to say, like, check it out, dog. Fuck us right hey, here. Hey, nah, nah. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was really on the yard. I was really on the yard. Hold, hold on, left. Hold on, left. Yeah. I want to say this, this right now. Where, this is like, where bro, kind like, of like uh, he wants to make sure. That oh, that's right. I keep the moment in too. I was really on the yard. I'm gonna breathe real quick. The homies are there right now. I trip out on this. I'm gonna breathe. Real quick, dog. Uh, the, the home TV, like uh, fucking watching ESPN. No, they don't got ESPN. Watching ABC, dog. That's bullshit. But no, free dog. the homies, free the homies, because I was just in that cell, dog. Free, free the my homies. homies center. Facts. Free Glock. Free my homies, center, dog. I want to say homies. this, dog. The homies that are behind bars and the homies that reach out to me before they're getting out after their their uh, lengthy sentence. Nothing, but I. I- Look, just living in there, and I've I'll, 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 I'll been there. I walked through there. I, I walked through Pelican Bay. I haven't been there as long as the homies that are still there right now. But I'm just saying that I was there, and I know the vibe, and I know it's just like 
it's a different vibe out there, homie. It really is, dog. It's just a different, and it's a beautiful struggle, man, but it's a different vibe. And free all the homies that are right there, I feel them, dude. And, uh, yeah, no, I don't, man, he fixing my mic again. No, nah, but, no, nah, but real shit, though, real shit, though, no, nah, no. Nah. I was really right there, dog. I was really. All right, so, so he explains that he was there. He did all the time with, you know, whoever was there and all that. So let's get into the last, the last piece of it, and then I'm going to take phone calls. Um, nah, fuck that huh? shit, dog. Nah, I ain't WrestleMania, dog. Yeah, fuck nah, you, nah, dog. Nah, nah, nah. You oh, know what I mean? Fuck me, man. Come nah. on. Man. Oh, shit. 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 Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Hold up, hold up, hold up, dog. Hold up, hold up, nah. Fuck that shit, dog. Nah, I ain't WrestleMania, dog. Fuck you, dog. You know what I mean? Fuck me, man. Come on, man. Don't do that, all right? No, no, because they go, go, vibe. All right. That's where everything went left. Left as lefty can be. That's when everything went left. Hold up. Okay, hold up, hold up, nah, fuck that huh? shit, dog. Nah, I ain't WrestleMania, dog. Yeah, fuck nah, you, nah, dog. Nah, 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 nah. You know what I mean? Fuck me, man. Come nah, on, man. Nah, 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 don't do that, alright? No, no, cause they go go viral with that bullshit saying that he said fuck me. It's his platform. And nah, they went viral. It ain't like that. It's love. It's what we. It's what we talk right now. No, but you know how it is, though, my boy. Like this is everybody. All right, so so I'm not I'm not here to defend anybody, but the thing is that is how Lucky talks. That is how Lucky talks. Now, unfortunately, I I personally I personally have never heard him say that to his guest. I think I think Lucky, and if you're listening again, no disrespect, Lucky. I think you were feeling good. I think you were feeling the vibe. I think you felt that you know you and him were kind of clicking or whatever, and you just happened to say that. Unfortunately, it didn't go the right way. It went the left way. Go step out of here right now and say fuck it. The Ain't interview's done with. Fuck you, dog. And I will though. And I will though. If Let's I do it, if you feel like you need to do that, do that, No, 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 no. We could do that because I'm gonna say fuck the interview and I'm gonna no, say boy. fuck me, no, 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 bro. No, 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 no. Say yeah, fuck me, bro. Fuck you. He did not say fuck oh, you. Dog. No, I did say that. I did say that. I did say that. And right there, right there. Lucky is standing on business. Lucky is standing on business because he said, you know what? I did say that. I said that. Whether he meant it the way that people think, it's a different story. But Lucky said, you know what? I'm not going to let Droops defend me. I, I actually said what I had to say. Whether it came out good or bad at the moment, you know what? That's That's to be debated. We'll talk about it some other day. Unfortunately, it did come out wrong. It did come out wrong. So let's continue, and then we're going to take phone calls. But I said in the sense of this right here. But I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be me to say, let you say fuck me, though. Okay. Like, I, would, I, I ain't really the fuck homie, though, bro. That's but no, that's the boy. Left. Hey, that's baby. The boy, but lefty. I love you, brother. Left. Ain't lefty. Say I love you. Like and, I'm a, and, I, and, and I'm a man, and I apologize I'm for saying that to you. I apologize, bro. Plain and simple right there. Lucky apologized, but it got overlooked. It just went over everybody's head. Lucky apologized, but it went over everybody's head. Because at this point, everybody's heated. Everybody's drinking. Everybody, I don't know if people are on mushrooms or not, but people are drunk. People are drinking. The heat of the moment. People are not caring about what Lucky is saying at this point. And, 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 and it goes all... Left. I apologize, brother. But so he, this he is what I want to say. No, 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 good, did, no. Hold on. Good. You good? I'm good. I'm good. You, you guys are making this. And I just and told I you, Spencer, like, homie. And no, did, didn't I just say that when he said he apologizes? That's it. That's it. That's yeah, right. That I mean, bro, that's easy work. That's easy, dog. I love you, baby. We'll fuck later. <laughs> hey, but I want to say this, dog. Hey, 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 that's homie shit. That's homie shit. We, yeah, you know, that's homie shit, shit, right? It's happening this regular. But, but regular. you know, it's good that you caught that. This regular shit. It's good that you caught that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Facts, Iron Fist. Wait up, not you. Uh, who said it? Yeah. Wait up, wait up. Who said it? Who said it? Who said it? Uh, somebody said, the problem is we don't say that and then just let it pass. You're right. We don't just say that and let it pass, right? That's the problem. Okay, it was OG Moses. 
No, he heard him. The problem is that we gangsters, we don't say F you and let it slide. Facts, facts. Because you're still on your point. That's right. No, you're still on your point, we right? We all men. We all men. Hey, gangster. I'm a Exactly. Exactly. And, yeah, we I'm catch everything, baby. I'm a gangster. Hey, peak game real quick, though. What I want to ask you right here yes, is you, you we were talking about you bitches and all this. Right <laughs> I like that shit though. Nah, dude, you my host off, fool. I fucking love playing with me, bro. It's like bringing the shit. Like, check it out. I remember in jail shit. Bro, like, homie, like, like, you dumb, bro. You dumb if you don't think I can't can apologize, bro. No, 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 that's not even about that. I feel like I'm kicking it with the homie. Yeah, exactly, Dick. So stop I'm being like stupid about this shit. Homie, we are right now. But the world's gonna trip off. No, fuck him, fuck him. Because we know who he is. And we did. And we did. Echo y dicho, right? Echo y dicho. We tripped the f out, right? Everybody's talking about it. It went to the full community. It went to no jumper. Not that anybody cares. But it went everywhere. It's all over social media. Everybody that has a YouTube channel that has that that is associated with this kind of genre is talking about it, right? So somebody in the beginning put, uh, we should put, a poll on who was right and who was wrong on this. So I'm going to put a poll on that, and then I'm going to put the number up, all right? Who was at fault? Oh, man, why is this shit tripping? Who was at fault? That's the question. Lucky or lefty? That's the question. We're going to let that play out for a little bit, and then uh, uh, I guess uh, we'll put yes for Lucky and, and uh, no for, uh, for uh, we'll put yes for Lucky and no for Lefty Gunplay. So who was that fault? Yes for Lucky and no for, uh, damn, that doesn't even sound right, to be honest. I, I don't know. We'll just leave it like that. All right, so hopefully that makes a little sense. And then we're going to put the number up as well. And then we're going to finish this because it, it is it is pretty interesting, all right? So that's the number. We're going to pin it. Let's see if we can pin it. Boom, boom. We're going to pin that. But let me finish this real quick. Let me finish this, and then we could go th get the phone calls. With you? Yeah, dick. I'm it's, glad I like that moment. Bro, bro, nah, dog. I'm a boy. I fuck with you. No, I'm dog. You. I know it was nothing. I know it was nothing. No, no, no. No, dick. No, dick. Oh, Bozo right here? Bozo. Bozo here? here? Okay, we're going to get him out of here. But I want to say Bozo this. Like, Bozo no, Bozo dick. I want to say this. Let, Let me say Bozo this. Right Let me say this, dog. Let me say this. No, bro. What the fuck? You guys are getting out of here. There's nothing but animals right here. Bozo, get right there. Bozo, get right there, baby. Hold up, Bozo just pulled up. I got mine too, don't trip. Let him get right there, dog. Yeah, yeah let him get right there. That's my boy. He's flying. He's flying. Dick, like. He beat me, he beat me. Damn. I, I want to say this. What the fuck I, was I wearing? He made I me look at what I was wearing. <laughs> you, he you fucking man. asshole, oh, dog. I, I want to say man. this. Shout out to Bozo, man. Bozo pulled out. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, like, Bozo pulled out. Oh shit, Bozo, Bozo, bro. Bozo, you could only have to do this interview with your shirt off, bro. My shirt off? I look good. Yeah, I like the shirt off. Yeah, it's the shirt offs, bro. Okay, cool. It's shirt offs, bro. It's shirt offs. It's shirt offs. It's shirt offs. But anyways, before Bozo, hold on. Before Bozo got here, dog, the reason why I said fuck you, dick, is, is for this. Hey, hold on. No, we no, all flying no, over here. Relax, fucker. <laughs> we, bro, get out your fucking shit right now, no, dog. No, 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 no. Get out your shit. Hold on. Dick, listen. I'm listening. Listen, fucker. And what I was saying is when we talk about... <laughs> it's just this and that and the other, bro. We talk about, like, the kids, bro. You got you to gotta wait till this ends. Wait till this ends. 
You, how was no, the kids? Back, Being a father, bro. To you saying fuck me. That no, dick, I fuck do. that, dog. Who gives a fuck, All dog? Right, just, That's stupid, yeah. dick. Right? I'm, I know what the fuck's going on. Or, or tell him right now to yeah. chill the fuck yeah. out, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know, I know. Relax, fucker. Get your back ass on the... Get, you, get your ass back on the mic. No, 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 no. I just know I'm so media trained that I answer every question. Like, I'm so militant with media. Like, well, the relax no, 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 no. me. Fuck military. Military no, no, training. No, 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 because I caught that. Time. Media training. But they got me <laughs> No, dick, stop it, 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 dog. It, stop it, dog. It right stop it right now. I stopped it. Stop it, dog. Kids, bro. I get it. I get it. People are saying, well, that's Lucky's podcast. That's Lucky's platform. I get that 1,000%. But when you have a guest, you have to respect your guest. You just have to respect your guest. Now, if you don't care about that guest, if you bring that guest over so that you can grill him and, and, and then you can do all kinds of stuff and say all kinds of stuff to him, then I get that 1,000% as well. But this is I don't think this is what Lucky wanted. Kids, how is it being a father, bro? How's it being a father? He said, I'm not even a father. Yet. I'm not even a father. <laughs> what's, 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 hey, shout out to the motherfucking Southside Logo that just came out with the homie, dog. That album bangs. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm not even, I don't even feel like an awkward moment, like what the Raiders is. It's not an awkward moment. No, no. It's not an awkward moment. Let me say something real quick. No, 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 no. It's not an awkward moment. Bro, you on my platform, bro. You on my platform. Chill the fuck out, dog. It's not even a the fuck out. You on my platform, bro. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, dog. It's not even like that. You told me what it is. I'm like, we're chilling. I already apologized, dog. So let's move forward, bro. I walked out, dog. Let's not. Let's catch a fade, bro. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something, dog. It's not even like that. You told me what it is. I'm like, what you mean? I already apologized, dog, so let's move forward, bro. I walked out, dog. Let's not. Let's catch a fade, bro. Let's catch a fade, bro. Respect right now, bro. You got me fucked up, dog. Barbara switched the turbo tax. And that, my friends, is how it ends. Now go ahead and call in. Now go ahead and call in if you want to call in. <clears throat> you know, all respects to Lucky, all respects to Lefty Gunplay. Um, they did their thing. Unfortunately, I I don't want to say it was Lucky's fault. But I, I kind of seen that Lucky was a little bit more faded than Lefty. Now, the thing is, what he what, what uh, Lucky said earlier in the podcast, he said he had got all messed up the night before because he went to, uh, hold on. That's recording the West Coast Graffiti Show. Kiwole, kiwole, se kimosabe, what's the deal, homie? Kimosabe, thanks for calling in. Talk to me, carnal. What do you think man, about this? Man, salute, much respect to your channel, man. Keep it pushing, carnal. Do what you got to do, man. Take the lane, you know what I'm saying? But at, at the same time, homie, you can't you can mix business with pleasure, dog. Uh, just as, 
That's just how the that's just how the Wadopa runs. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the interview was good. The interview was badass. But as soon as they started popping shrooms, they're getting all crazy, dog. It's like, man, like they 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 were just long winded. They kept on going for days, and then Lucky was getting frustrated because you know. Now, you know, Chavalon's going to be a Chavalon, dog. You know what I'm saying? The fool's got fame. He, the sign's on him, you know what I'm saying? But I know Lucky, Lucky sometimes, he gets a little faded. And he starts trying to control the whole room, dog. That, that's what happened last time. That he, 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 kicked, he got rid of everybody. And then what happened? He, and, then, and then what happened? He brought them all back. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Hey, that guy, hey, Lucky, Lucky, Lucky son, Zoo, man. He's got, he's got a fucking solid ass channel. I ain't gonna lie, dog. He brings, he brings the best out of people. Makes people cry. You know what I'm saying? Brings out true life stories. You know what I'm saying? Luck, Lucky's, Lucky's in his own lane, but. Hey man, he left the gunplay, man. You know he's got a little chip, man. So you gotta let him shine. You gotta let him. You gotta let him be who he is, but. At the same token, man, you know, you can't mix business with pleasure. They got a little bit too tipsy, and at the end of the day, man, you know, shit, they, they just both speak, spoke their mind, you know what I mean? And I, you I, can't I, stop. I, yeah, yeah, I yeah, got yeah, you. No, I, I, th- I think that, that Lucky, and, and shout out to Lucky and Hoodstocks and all the goons, yeah, right? Uh, he's I awesome, think, dog. Yeah, I think Lucky, if he really focuses in and he zones in and he... He does what he's supposed to do because he he's already up there, right? We already know that. Yeah, right? hell like yeah. Like you said, like you said, he brings the best out of people, right? If Fuck he yeah. if he zones in and even if he drinks, let's just say he keeps drinking, but not too much, right? Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. Because you know, alcohol it, it brings out people's uh, uh, inner inner demons. It brings yeah, out people's yeah, like yeah. inner child or whatever you want to say, right? Yeah, yeah. If if he can control that to a minimum, I think yeah. I think his channel would be. Way, way more successful. Not that it's oh, not, definitely. not that it's not already, but it's already successful. Yeah. But I think yeah. I think he could like hit the hit the five hundred to a, a million subscribers. Oh yeah, next, he's definitely the gonna get two there years for sure, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just think that that you know they they could have kept a little bit more more copacetic, a little bit more kosher, a little bit more in a chill vibe. I know both of them you know, are two you know great minds trying to speak out, but I think Lefty was just you know being himself and. And and Lucky got a little frustrated because you know Lucky always wants to speak and you know he wants to put in his, his little little info on on certain topics or whenever he speaks on something and I think I think it just got a little bit animated man and you know I don't think Lucky kind of meant it like that because when when remember when he said ah oh, WWE you know what I'm saying like he must have yeah. thought yeah Lucky must have thought that he was like making fun of the whole platform you know what I mean. And it wasn't like that. He was just saying, like, shit, it's, everybody's crunk, you know what I mean? And that's what it was, man, because they were popping shrooms. They were fucking acting a donkey already, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I haven't been on shrooms in, like, 20 years. But man. you know what? <laughs> not, not just shrooms, but the drinking. Yeah. And then, you know, yeah. obviously, they're, they're from the hood. They, they went to prison. Yeah. And they they have all that in, the, in their mind and their head. And all that bigger yeah. part, bro. You know, you, you want to be the bigger person. You want to... Put yeah, your chest out bigger than the other person. You know what I mean? And, and yeah. shout out to both of them. You know they don't. Oh, both of them, man. Both yeah. of them are good people. At the end of the day, you know it was a it was a good show. It's just that you know Lefty, you, Lefty was just being himself, man, and he got animated, and then they invite Bozo in. So you know everybody's all hyped up. The show would have been badass, but it just Lefty. I mean, uh, Lucky on Zoo, man. He you know he wants to speak up on his show. He wants to put in little two cents, and you know he wants to do his thing and. I think at the end of the day, man, that they, they can make something happen together, and fuck what anybody says, how it happened or how it should go down, man. He just, you know, run it back again. You know what I mean? Hopefully they will. Hopefully they will, Kimo. Yeah, yeah, homie. Hey, saludos, homie. Keep doing what you're doing, carnal. Gracias. Take care, homie. All right, late. All right, and that's true, man. That's true. Hopefully, hopefully they can keep it uh, copacetic. I think that's the word that a lot of people say, copacetic. Hopefully they can keep it neutral. And I'm pretty sure Lucky or either left, Lefty or Lucky reached out to one another and they said, hey, man, great show. It happened. It is what it is. Let's move forward. Unfortunately, Lucky put out that post saying that he's going to take a break. I don't think he should take a break. I mean, if you guys are on, on the Goonies side, I don't think he should take a break. Thanks for calling the West Coast Graffiti Show. It's Lazy Boy, the rapper from San Jose. I just wanted to give it a shout out to Lefty. I want to kiss him. God, man. <laughs> Damn. All right. It is what it is. We're going to get these phone calls. 
We're going to get these phone calls. Unfortunately, you know what? I do answer private phone calls because you never know who's calling. But anyways, like I said, if anybody knows Lefty, if anybody can shoot this to Lefty, or I'm pretty sure Lucky won't call in. But if Lefty would call in and just talk about it, that would be awesome, man. That would be dope. But again, anybody could call in and give their, their two cents on, on what happened last night. You guys seen it all over the internet, all over YouTube. It's been trending. I mean, I mean, it went to full community. It went to no jumper. It went all over the place. Thanks for calling the West Coast Graffiti Show. Hey, man, take off your shirt, man. So you take off yours. <laughs> right now, bro. I can't do that, homie. I can't do that, homie. Come on, you want to catch a fade or what? <laughs> Not today, man. Maybe this weekend I'll, I'll, I'll catch a fade. Not today. Make this 56-year-old man run a fucking fade on you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, homie. Yeah, that was a trip when everybody took off their shirts. That was definitely a trip when everybody took off them shirts, man. I mean, I, hey, I get it, man. A lot of testosterone. Everybody wants to show their tattoos. Everybody wants to show what they look like. I get it, man, but... Hey, that's the show. That's what happened over there. Unfortunately, like I said, man, it just it went left at the end of the day. And I think it should have stayed. I think at the end, when Lefty kind of realized that it was going left, and then he said, you know what, I will leave the show. I think that's when Lucky should have kind of realized, okay, we can continue the show. We can continue the show and, and make it a little bit longer, a little bit better. But by that time, I think it was over. Thanks for calling the West Coast Graffiti Show. What's up, West Coast? Talk to me. Uh, you know, just here on lunch break, calling in. Yeah. What do you think? Ah, uh, uh, man. What, what can I say, man? On shit, Lucky. I don't know, man. That that guy just needs. He probably does need a break, man, because you know he he's crying about his subscribers and that you know things are down and can and whatnot. You know. Well, he did that. He, he, he did the same thing when uh, when he had the interview with King Little G. He actually took. Yeah, that. I, I was about to get to that. Oh, okay, go for it. You know, like he, he tends to fuck up his biggest interviews. Yeah. You know, he also has like you know like ya mala costumbre, you know, or it's just like he he wants to carry himself like all oh, like big big old you know podcaster shit, but then when somebody big goes on there, he fucks it up. And he takes, like, little shots at them, too, you know? I, I think, uh, honestly, and, and I'm not saying this is what happens, but I think he gets nervous, and he wants to be in the zone, and then he just gets too high and too drunk. I, that's just me. I, I don't know. I, I see but, uh, that, but it could be, I don't know, maybe it's just me looking at it uh, uh, differently. But... No, that, that, that's exactly what happens, you know? He, like, he, he gets eventually too drunk and too high or whatever he ends up doing. And then, like you know, his his ego gets in the way and stuff. Like the little king, the King Lo G interview, he fucked that up. Uh, Lefty Gunplay, he fucked that up. And um, you know, también like um, yeah, I get it. Like you know, the, they're his boys and everything like that. But it seems like sometimes, like you know, you can't be mixing friends with your business and stuff. Yeah, you, you have canine in the back yelling like a cheerleader, like oh they, they show our bristle or like oh uh, yeah fuck your fuck your baby mama and shit like that. It's like oh like come on, like I think like even throughout the interview they I kept. Think, saying, I think that like, was Jupes. Canine is not there right now, but I think that was no, Jupes. he is there. He oh, was he there. was there. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. If anything, Jupes was the only one that was like you know in his right state of mind trying to like control things and ah, shit. Ah, okay, okay. But yeah, canine was the one that was in the back like cheerleading, you know. You know, who, like you know who also controls it? Casey. Shout out to Casey. Pero ya no está. I know. I know. You know, and like sometimes like it just seems like, you know, Lucky, like he cries about things, but then like he lets things go happen like that. It's like, who like, I think like he should just learn from this. That, like, how is it that his previous interviews were when no one's there? The interviews are cool, even though it might not seem like the their numbers are there. But the interview is cool. You know, you can hear it out. You can listen to everything. But as soon as his homies get there, it's un puto de madre. I mean, my my two favorite interviews so far from the last few months has been the mechanic. I don't know if you guys heard the mechanic. That was a yeah, great Yeah, the mechanic interview. one. Yeah, and, shout, and, shout out to him. And who was there? And I, I, I think it was just him and, and Droops. 
That's it. There you go. Yeah, man. But then he, he brings his boys and it's like, all right, like, are you guys trying to do an interview or are you guys trying to do party and podcasting? Yeah. Yeah. True. True. And there was another one that, that uh, happened a couple of days ago. Um, uh, it was, who was it, man? It was the mob crew TMC. That one's a good one too. The guy uh, from the mob crew, Tito. Those are, those are good ones. And, and like you said, he, he carried himself well. Unfortunately, now when he gets these big guests, and, and I, I don't know. I, I've, I've never been there. I've never been in that position. So I can't, I can't speak on that behalf. But, uh, you know, you want to get you want to get right. You want to get buzzed. You want to, you know, entertain people. Unfortunately, like I said, he just gets a little too wild, man. Yeah, but he, he should también aprender, you know, it's like, full, like obviously, like, you, you already know how you get. You can't be mixing two two of those things, you know? Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like you said, hopefully he does take a break and he gets his mind right and comes back. And then I don't want him to get sober. I don't want him to get sober and let this for his health, you know. But other than that, you know, we, we love Lucky the way Lucky is, you know. We just don't want him to get too faded. Mm-hmm. Uh, let, let's see a question for you. This is a question from you since you're you're down south, because I'm up here in the in the Bay Area. And stuff, and like, you Shout know, out to the Bay. Things get handled a little bit different, and people always be like, "I'm not gonna get into the politics of it," but like, let's check the. Let's see what you think. You think that at this point, like the the down south card, it, it's like almost like a novella. Oh, I don't know, bro. I don't. I don't really deal with the card, bro. I don't. You know. No, but like just, just looking at the the, uh, called, you know the content what? of it. I I don't want to speak on that because people are gonna be like, you can't speak on that, you know. And and mm-hmm. I I don't have any any say so on that. What I do like, see, but what I do see, Carnal, is um, I think YouTube is taking like uh, the gangster era into a different into a different in a, in a bad situation i would say that it, it doesn't look good for for anybody like, you know what i mean not just for i mean because again i'm a i'm a tiger right i used to be a tiger <laughs> so i don't see a lot of tigers acting this way i see a lot of gangsters that are older acting you know this way if that sounds any better yeah because like if you saw the the podcast towards the end it's like what the fuck everybody had the shirts off out yeah. <laughs> at the end it's like come on man yeah. what are you guys doing like a like a fucking competition here or what yeah and, so and it like, sucks because know. it does make uh the sureños look bad it does make him look bad because now they're they're looking at everybody you know like oh this is how you carry yourself again i don't want to talk about it because i, I don't i don't deal with that yeah. stuff but it, you know in my opinion I don't know. It's it's a whole different ball game now. Maybe, yeah. maybe YouTube and social media has something to do with it. I don't know, bro. But yeah, it, it, they should they should care. But but then again, we don't watch like uh, up up upstate uh, shows, so I don't know how <laughs> they carry themselves up there either. You know. Oh, uh, dude, a calentada for everybody. If that shit would happen up north, bro. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you know, like it, it ends up being like you know, Bozo comes in con su camisa off. Fucking lefty with his camisa off. Fucking lucky with his camisa off. Like, come on, man. Like, what, what's going on? And then it's like, you know, it, it, it went from a, a good interview to what the fuck is going on, dude? Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's that's why we're talking about it today. It, it should have stayed neutral. But unfortunately, when Lucky said that, that F you, it, it all went left. You know, it all went south. But, hey, it is what it is. Hopefully, they did talk it out. And hopefully, they do run it back. But if not... Then we had a great moment. <laughs> we had a great moment. <laughs> All right, pues, West Coast. Gracias. Take care, homie. You too. All right. So, yeah, man, uh, you know, hopefully hopefully they did talk it out and hopefully everything is straightened out because at the end of the day, you know, I mean, we got lefty, lefty gunplay, which is like doing the best thing he can for the Latino rappers down here in the South. I mean, he's collabing with all kinds of people. I don't think he'll collab with uh, that Mexican OT because he said something about him. But he'll collab with a lot of other people. So let's hope Lefty Gunplay, you know, grows and grows. And and like he said, he talked to um, Interscope Records. He talked to all kinds of other people. Let's just wish Lucky and Lefty Gunplay much, much success. And let's hope this, you know, it's like anything else, right? We're going to talk about it for about two or three days. And after that, it's it's gone. We move on to the next thing. All right. So with that being said, your boy West Coast Graffiti. Thanks for uh 
tapping into the West Coast Graffiti Show. We are already at 6 o'clock. My wife is about to get home. And I do appreciate all of you guys. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Oh, so let's see. Who, who was that fault? Who? I Damn, it looks like Lucky was that fault. Wow. Well, let's hope everybody's good, man. Strike one was Lucky passing out live on. Oh, yeah, that was that was a fun one, though. That was a fun one with K-9, free K-9, right? Anyways, I'm out of here, man. Thank you guys for tapping in. And like I said, man, I'm going to say this one more time. I have nothing against Blue Devil, Tony, Norby's, Marvelous, Gil, uh, Clown Log, or Shadow from MODNT. I just don't want them on the chat. That's it. Not that they will, but, you know, that's why I blocked all of them. Peace.